Hey, what's up everyone? This is Holly. I just got done making the school cutout tee and um, I just really hope you guys like it. It's very, very easy. You don't have to have any skill at all. All you need is some chalk, some scissors, and a plain t-shirt that you can just cut up and customize. And the tee, I mean, it's so cute. It's so many different things you can do with it. And it's just like a million different things you can do to it to make it your own. We can you can do so many things with this. So it's very easy. It's very fun. It's a really fun, cute tee. It's unisex. Males can do it. Females can do it. So I hope that you guys learned something from this video. Enjoy this video. And post responses of, you know, your final tee. Or send me pictures or something. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed the tutorial. And have a nice day. Bye. Okay, to start, you're going to get your plain T, your chalk, and you're going to start to draw out your pattern for your skull. I recommend you look at an image of it so that it's easier for you to look at and draw it. I will put a link to the image that I found that inspired me to do this in the information box so that you guys will have something to look at for yourselves. If you're going to use a white tee like I used in this video, I don't recommend you use such dark colored chalk. I just did this for video purposes, but I would use a very light colored chalk if I'm using a white tee that'll wash off much easier. The teeth are all little triangles. You can draw the teeth however you like. You can put as many teeth as you like. It's really all up to you. Now notice when I start to do my cutting, I pinch the top layer of the t-shirt and then from there I start to do my cutting. And when you're cutting on the lines, because you're going to keep those lines there, make sure the line is thick enough so that it doesn't break or come off. Don't make it too thin to where it's barely hanging on to the t-shirt. Notice I pinched it again, and you're just going to keep doing this, cutting right along the lines. It's a very easy project. You don't have to be worried about or concerned with the neatness or the perfect perfectness of the cutting of the t-shirt because, because of the style of the t-shirt, it can be a little rough. The ends can look a little ragged. It can look imperfect. It's okay for this style, so don't beat yourself up over messing up or getting some ugly lines and in this cutting phase it doesn't look right it doesn't look good but when it's all done trust me it does look good once again there's a line in the nose and if you notice I pinch cut and I make sure that that line is thick enough most girls want to hide the fact that the thrill they chasing But you just want to get drunk tonight and fuck someone famous So I just name a time These are the hollowed out cheekbones Value player, hotel room, meet you there I told you, you guys this is very, very easy. It's really not hard. I'm not an artist at all and this was very easy for me. Now for the teeth. The reason why I only drew on one top row of the teeth is because I'm folding just the top layer of the t-shirt right underneath it. You want the fold to be right underneath the top teeth. And then you're going to fold that in half to get your slits like I did on the eyes and the nose and the cheeks. And you're going to continue to cut just like you did all the others. This is the hardest part of the cutting because it's just a little bit thicker. So if you notice, I use the very end of the scissors because that gives you the best cut. 
and really this is the hardest part and it's not even that hard once again don't be too concerned about how neat the teeth look they actually look cooler the more crooked and jagged they look all this money darling what else is left to do but smoke and enjoy my presidential view got a swimming pool in my living room I'll stay when you're done with your teeth you're pretty much done with the top and all you're going to need to do is toss it in the washing machine to wash off the chalk and you finished it this is how it would look normal if you want to continue editing your top to make it more customized I decided to fringe the bottoms because I just couldn't stand the straight bottom. You're just gonna cut just like I did, and you're just gonna pull it taut. It's very, very easy. And this is the outcome. And if you wanna make it look a little bit more girly, you can cut the shoulders out and cut the neckline out. This is also super easy. And of course you can make the holes much bigger than what I did to make it look cuter. This is how I decided to style the top. You can use a basic print tee underneath, a printed top underneath. Notice the fringe bottoms. This is how I used it as a beach cover up, which I think is a really good idea in the summertime. And this is like a concert look with the really cute two top underneath. This is what, mixtape number six, seven.